a Columbus, Ohio police officer who killed a black man a week ago has been fired. Adam Coy was found at fault in a disciplinary hearing yesterday for not giving aid to the man he shot. 47-year-old Andre Hill died in a local hospital. The city issued a statement saying, in part, Coy's actions do not live up to the oath of a Columbus police officer. Hill's family and their attorney told us the firing is the first step and getting justice. It's not fair that there's so many procedures when it's clearly on video, the whole world sees it. They're all murders. Speaking out about the black men and women killed by police before her father, Andre Hill, Carissa Hill says her family is not the same since former Columbus police officer Adam Coy shot her dad three days before Christmas. According to police, Coy, a 17-year veteran and another officer, were responding to a non-emergency call regarding a car that had been running on and off in front of a house. Body camera footage released by the city shows Hill walking out of a garage, holding a cell phone in one hand before being shot by Coy. I feel like if that cop would have gave my dad a chance, he'd still be here. Both officers did not activate their body cameras prior to the shooting. But an automatic record feature captured 60 seconds of video before and leading up to the shooting. Hands out to the side now! Hill also went more than six minutes without any aid after being shot, a violation of departmental policy. Hill's sister, Michelle Harrison. I believe that he, is, he possibly could have been saved if they would have went and applied pressure um, and, and called the medics. George Floyd was supposed to be the turning point where we saw these uh, killers come down. According to records, since the day after George Floyd's death back in May, more than 100 black people have been killed by the police. And what is so ironic is the fact that Andre Hill was wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt that had just George Floyd on when he was shot and killed by these police officers. And the police chief there in Columbus adding that when he became the chief, he wanted the core values to include accountability.